Hello, I am Robot Jake. Welcome to Jake and Jill Adventures. Refrigerator edition. Howdy howdy! So we just got rid of our old fridge. We had some 20 year old reefer compressor unit that was super power hungry and did a really crappy job. So what we had installed over the past two days is a new Seafrost unit, the BD XP. So we got a new compressor and we didn't just do cold plates, we did a freezer bin. So we have a little tiny freezer. I have a dream, a dream of ice cream. So we can have ice cream now on Bosco. So we opted for the digital controller. So you see 41.9, there's two thermostat readings. That one is about the center of the fridge. So 41.9 degrees Fahrenheit. And then our second temperature, the B2 is the freezer box. So the freezer box is currently 26.3 degrees and it cycles on and off. When it's running full bore, it uses about eight amps of power. And that eight amps of power, power counts the new water pump. We have an air and water cooled unit. I think I'm out of focus. No, I'm in focus. No, I'm still in focus. So let's open up the freezer and I'll show you what we're drinking. <laughs> the shelf in there isn't quite done, but here's our freezer. Now that we have a really good refrigerator, this top of this gets cold and I'm thinking that we're probably losing a little bit of energy. So we're gonna do a towel on top of here or a rug or maybe have something made. I don't know, I don't really know yet. So there is the freezer box. The top and the bottom are the cold plates. It is empty right now, but you can see how spacious it is. We've been doing this for about five months and I don't know that we've met anybody that doesn't have some half million dollar yacht that has a free freezer. We haven't, we already get a little thermometer so we can see what those temperatures are. And there's actually a shelf that goes right here that needs to get modified because that is in the way of it. All right, so let's go to the Lazarette. Echo, echo. Welcome to the Lazarette. It's pretty spacious down here. It's normally full of stuff. So this spot right here is the side of our propane locker. That's where the old unit was. And this is where our brand new inverters did a go. There is our water heater. We have a six gallon water heater. There's our Xantrex turbocharger. And last but not least, our new Seafrost unit. It can be, it's water and air cooled, as I said earlier, so that's where you turn the water pump on and off. The amazing thing for us is it's so quiet. You cannot hear it inside the cabin at all. So I left it on all night last night. It cycles on and off, runs about 50% of the time. But that's what it seemed so far. And so it used like 24 amp hours overnight which is awesome. Our old one we would turn off because it used like 12 amp hours every hour. And that's the fridge. We're doing a lot of improvements, so we'll do a couple more videos. We'll do a couple more videos of all the other stuff we're doing, like we're putting in a new engine, wind, and solar. So let us know if you have any questions about the fridge, and hope you enjoy Jake and Jill Adventures. Jake and Jill Adventures.